the Bible is very clear about how powerful money is. And that's why it says in the scripture that we are to uh, serve the Lord uh, and not mammon. So if you're loving money, you will hate God. If you love God, then money will have its place. It looks like they love God. But they're loving God for the sake of making more money. It's very subtle. Not all of us can discern it. Even if it's not a third party that is discerning what's happening, then the person himself reading this quote should go like, am I really loving God or am I really loving money? Why not love God first and use money? Meaning, let money serve you while you are serving the Lord. In chasing after God, you know that all these things shall be added unto you. So the focus is really on getting your heart to love God with or without money, to love God even though there may not be a promise that you will get back. You don't love to get. You love to give. You love because that's what it is all about. Love in a relationship uh, is not using people. But sometimes people may seem like they give love actually to get. Uh, and that can ha actually happen in a boy-girl relationship. And we've done so many BGR sessions through our so many years of ministry that we realize that sometimes guys especially can give love to get sex. So that's the same thing. You don't just try to look like you love God, but actually you want something from Him. So that quote, it's not wrong to be blessed of God, uh, but I think it's better uh, to love God and let Him be the one who decides how to bless you. And don't keep doing only because you want the blessing.